In this video, it rained blood and turned all the villagers into killer nuggets. We were buried alive. Will the witch's apprentice help us turn the villagers back? Watch this video. Hmm. Something strange is happening on the street. It's raining blood, and that's not good. We need to see what's on the news. Something really bad is happening, and I need to know what it is. It's better to verify this by watching TV. What's going on there? I need to know. Today in the news, a bloody rain began to fall and soaked all the land in the area. Villagers began to turn into killer nuggets. They have a sensitive sense of smell and keen eyesight. Try to stay at home and not go out. An encounter with a nugget can be deadly and cost you your life. If you have loved ones, warn them about this incident and stay in shelters until the situation is resolved. The authorities will try to do everything possible in their power. Try to avoid getting bloody rain on your skin. Please be patient and follow instructions in emergency situations. Be careful, take care of yourself. I cannot believe it. The villagers have turned into nuggets due to the bloody rain and are trying to catch everyone who passes by. It's probably better to stay home for now and think about a plan to stop all this. I definitely shouldn't go out in this rain right now, so I don't turn into a nugget. Maybe there is some way out to save all the villagers? What is Mikey doing now? I hope he didn't decide to leave the house and got scared of the nuggets. If he gets caught in this rain, he might become one of them. This cannot be allowed because Mikey helps me in all plans. I need him as support and friend. I hope he's okay. This rain does not stop. It is possible that it will go on forever until we stop it. <laughs> it looks like it's starting to rain blood. I hate it when this happens. There will be some kind of devilry again. I need to be careful and not make too much noise. I'll go around all the windows and see what's happening to be aware. Huh? I don't need unnecessary problems. Why are there nuggets everywhere here? Is it a nugget party today? I need to do something urgently and get out of here. I need JJ's help. But how do I get out of here? These nuggets look very dangerous. Plus, it's raining. I think I could turn into anyone because of this rain. <gasps> Another nugget! How many are there? They don't seem to attack me yet. I need to get out of here and avoid the rain while the nuggets are still calm. I can't expect anything good from them, so I act quickly without delay. My life and JJ's are in danger. Hmm. I need to find something that can protect my body from the effects of the bloody rain. Some kind of armor or a cloak, whatever. I need the raindrops not to come into contact with my skin because this could have disastrous consequences. I can't find anything. Think my head. Oh, this bed can serve as a shield from the rain for me. It's a great way to safely get to JJ. I need to use all available means. The bed is an excellent means for this dangerous task. The main thing is not to make too much noise or attract too much attention, because I don't know what to expect from these nuggets with huge teeth. Oh, I don't want to come out here. I'm scared that these nuggets will attack me now. Or maybe I should just walk quietly and they won't think it's me. I'm under the bed. It seems that as long as they don't notice me, that's what I need. This way I can quickly get to JJ without incident. There is very little left to his house. I'm already covered in a cold sweat from the horror I saw. Finally, I have arrived. JJ, open the door. There's an urgent matter here. Open it to me quickly. It's very dangerous here. <laughs> Who's knocking there? I'm not expecting any nugget guests. I need to check who came there. What? How did you get here? There's huh? bloody rain. Are you infected now? Huh? Of course not. Huh? I covered myself with the bed and the rain didn't hit me. Besides the rain, there are dangerous nuggets there, in my opinion. Oh. They didn't notice me. They probably thought the bed was moving on its own. Oh. The question arises, what should we do with these nuggets? And where did they come from? Hmm. Didn't you watch TV? This is all because of the bloody rain. It is very dangerous, and we should not fall under its influence. I have two sets of leather armor. It should protect us from the rain, I think. Need to check. Hmm. Let's just check. Go out onto the balcony and see if we get wet. If rain suddenly hits us, we will quickly wash these areas with water so as not to become infected. Huh? Let's check it out now. Everything seems fine. But what do you think? I think this armor is an excellent solution to hide from this rain. Woohoohoo! I think that's a pretty good solution. So let's go outside and try to get past these nuggets so that they don't notice us. If they notice us, I don't know what we'll have to do to escape from them. They pose a special threat, and they are strongest during rain. Huh? Fine. Let's go out. Our mission begins. The main thing is to behave quietly and not be seen by them. Maybe they won't notice us. Let's quietly try to escape from here. 
Yep. It seems that the rain is not falling on us, and we can already set off. Let's do something before they spare us. We need to do something to stop all this horror. Mikey, it looks like something weird is going on. They see us. Let's run urgently. Huh? Ah! JJ, what should we do? They'll catch us. What will they do to us? We need to get out of here oh. somehow. I don't know what they can do to us, but we have Ouch. no choice but to try to escape from here. Ouch. The only option oh. is to run to the end. Let's run while we still have strength. Oh no! We know that these two creatures, Mike and JJ, pose no threat to us. But we also know that we have an order in our head, an order to bury them alive. Why? We do not know. We simply follow directions, like blind followers of mindless orders. Maybe there is some dark secret behind this that we are not aware of. Perhaps there are forces or interests that force us to act this way without giving a reason. <gasps> Where I am? Why is everything so dark around? Am I dead? I have to pinch myself to figure out if I'm alive. Oh. No, I'm definitely alive because I feel pain. The last thing I remember was how the Nuggets were chasing us. Apparently, Mikey and I fainted or were hit and lost consciousness. I don't know exactly what happened, but now I'm in a dark place and it must be a coffin. Something needs to be done to get out of it. But what should I do? Hmm. A pick and shovel won't help you get out of here. It seems I'll have to try a dangerous trick and blow up this coffin with dynamite. I think I should succeed. The main thing is to get out of here and help choose Mikey. Uh-oh. Just put the dynamite nearby and move into the corner so as not to take damage. Click and wait. Yeah. It was dangerous, but I managed not to get hurt. Now I have to think about Mikey. I wonder if he woke up. If he's still not awake, it will be difficult for him to understand why something is exploding underneath him. But I have no other choice. Huh? Come on, Mikey, you can do it. Huh? Why did you blow me up? I had such a good dream that I baked a lot of cakes. Huh? Mikey, what if you were in a coffin and I saved you? The Nuggets buried us alive. What else could I do? Huh? Are we underground? We need to get out of here urgently. <laughs> Don't worry, Mikey. This dungeon seems familiar to me. It seems like a witch lives here somewhere. We must try to find her in order to try to stop all this horror. Let's go through all these obstacles and find the witch. I'm sure she should help us. Oh, witch! Sounds interesting. I think the only one who can help us with anything is a witch, because there's real hell going on out there. Only she can help us. I think so too. Come on and follow me. Try not to fall into the lava, otherwise it will hurt. We don't have golden apples in our inventory to eat. Huh? Don't worry, JJ, I'm a good parkour player. We have walked a small part of the way. There is almost as much left. Yep. Right now, the road is no less dangerous. We need to be careful and oh. not rush. You can carefully climb walls and jump onto free blocks. Huh? A little more and we will come to the witch. She lives not far from here. And the path to it is so difficult that people who are weak in spirit do not come to her. Oh, have we already come to the witch? She has such a cool place for her lair. Hmm, I agree. Let's knock and ask the witch for help. Yep. <gasps> Who is this? This is definitely not a witch. Maybe we got to the wrong place. You have come to the right place. This is the witch's lair. I'm her student. She warned me that you could come, told me that something strange was happening outside, that the villagers had turned into nuggets. How can I help you? Hmm. We need something at your discretion that can help us eliminate this devilry outside. Okay, I'll prepare everything you need now. And for now, you can wait here. Hmm. Look, JJ, there's so much to see here. Voodoo dolls, a cutaway man, a pentagram on the floor, animal skins, and much more. I wonder what the witch uses all this for. I don't know. Probably for different spells, curses, and so on. We don't need to know this to worry about it. The main thing for us is to get the necessary elements to stop the nuggets. Yep. Today will be a very difficult day. Guys, I finished making all the necessary elements. Huh? In order to stop the nuggets, you will need to catch them in one place so yep. that they inhale this smoke and then everything should work out. You have to figure out how to catch them yourself, but these items will help you cure them. Hmm. Thank you very much for your help, Witch's Apprentice. We will definitely save these villagers. Mikey, now we need to go back to the village. We can't waste a minute. There is a portal here. With the help of it, we can get up. Huh? 
portal to the outside? Isn't this dangerous? I heard that we can be split in half when we teleport. Don't worry, it's completely safe. This is not the first time I have teleported like this, and everything is fine with me. Huh? Let's get started. We can't waste precious time. Yep. Let's go. Huh? Where did this teleport us? Hmm. Don't worry, this place is not far from our houses, and there might be nuggets somewhere nearby. So, you need to be careful. Let's start making a trap for them. We need to chop wood, let you chop down the trees, and I'll collect the herbs. This is necessary to disguise the trap. Huh? I'm already in the process of cutting down trees. Already collected some wood. Huh? I have already collected quite a lot of grass, but this is still not enough. I need to make a lot more different raw materials so that I can make a super inconspicuous trap. How are you doing, JJ? Already done a lot. I tried my best and cut down a lot of wood. I'll continue again now. Hmm. Yes, that seems to be enough. Now you need to craft a grass covering from wood and grass. This covering will serve as a camouflage for the hole that we will soon have to dig. Oh, sounds interesting. That's right, stealth plays a key role in our plans. When the covering is ready, we will carefully lay it over the pit, ensuring maximum naturalness and inconspicuousness. It is important to make sure that the covering looks like it belongs to the surrounding area, so as not to arouse suspicion. Hmm. Once the hole is ready, we'll quickly install the cover we create and make sure it keeps it well hidden from view. In this way, we will ensure our operation with maximum secrecy and security. We need the hole to be deep enough to accommodate our guests, but not too deep to be suspicious. Here you go, JJ. That's all I chopped up. Huh? Just a little more time and it will be ready. <laughs> You forgot more firewood. Take them away. Let me take this firewood. Looks like this should be enough to cover. Yep. Once the cover is ready, we can immediately install it over the hole Mikey is digging. Huh? Let's be careful and prompt so that we have enough time before someone notices our efforts. We have a very dangerous operation to catch nuggets, yep. but we have no other choice. We just need to lure them and make them breathe the smoke that the witch's student gave us. Hmm. This way, we can save all the nuggets and they will turn back into villains. Villagers. Let's work quickly and focusedly to complete this task as quickly as possible. Our success depends on our ability to work together as a team. Hmm. Our combined effort will help us complete the trap faster and more efficiently. We work closely to coordinate our actions and bring this task to completion. Our goal is to complete the trap as quickly as possible and yep. without anyone suspecting its existence. Yep. Now we have completed the trap. Let me try to tease the nuggets so that they come running here and fall right into our hands. And you stand behind the pit and wait for them to start running after me. Come here, Nuggets. I bet you can't catch me. There's no way you're going to chase me because it won't work out for you. <laughs> now the Nuggets are angry and we can catch them in a trap. They don't even imagine what awaits them ahead. And ahead there is only a hole hidden by grass. <laughs> we caught them! Now our task is to bombard them with gas bombs, and then they will go through purification and will be able to become normal villagers. Woohoo! Mikey, be careful there. This gas can make you temporarily blind if you inhale it. Huh? And I wonder why I don't see anything. It seems that I will have to stand for a while and not move so as not to fall towards the nuggets. It seems the villagers have turned back into themselves. We did it. There are so many different foods around them. It seems that this is what is left after those nuggets. It seems better for us not to eat it. Huh? Yes, I think we'd better not try this. Otherwise, the Sampies will turn into nuggets. And we definitely don't need this. Huh? It seems our episode has come to a happy ending. Today, we saved villagers who turned into nuggets. So, that's all for now, and see you soon. See you in the next episodes. Bye-bye.